Hi, I'm Pen of Pen Plays, and I'm here with a review of Mr. Oz's Space Bus for Masters of Brick Jitsu. A special thanks to Lego and Land for providing this set to Masters of Brick Jitsu, and to them for allowing me the privilege of reviewing this set for them. This set came as quite the surprise. Sealed in its box, it was shockingly heavy for 878 pieces. It being worth its price at $100 USD, however, was still up in the air. Ten characters are included, however, only two of them are full minifigures in the traditional sense. One of them is Mr. Oz, who appears exclusively in the set so far, in his armored dream chaser form. His hair and beard are all one brand new element. His bulky armor doesn't have much notable in comparison, but underneath, both have some incredible prints. His head has only one side, but considering it's almost entirely covered, isn't too much of an issue. Oz is equipped with a blaster. Mateo is the other traditional minifigure. Also appearing in his dream chaser form, Mateo sports a hairpiece new for 2023, complete with printed patterns on it that bring his comic book superhero inspired form full circle. Especially with his cape, which is brand new for him. My copy of his alternate face has his eyebrows slightly off where they should be, unfortunately. As an artist, Mateo carries around a pencil, though this one has been dreamed up into a spear-like shape. Logan in his dream chaser form is also included in this set, using the new Dreamling body, a full body element to make the diminutive peoples of the dream world. This piece can accommodate a traditional minifig head with its neck attachment, and both arms are shaped to hold minifig utensils. Despite his fantastic expressions, I have very little <laughs> positive to say about it. As in the show, while in this form, he's still depicted wearing a variation of his hoodie. There are other figures that use the Dreamling body in this set that feature printing. It makes me curious why Logan, a main character, was left nude like this. Albert is Dr. Oz's assistant in the dream world, and as a space bus's pilot, is a necessary inclusion. His dreaming body features printing reminiscent of a spacesuit. His helmet is the same one they've been using for years in superhero sets, housing a balaclava wearing monkey head within. Logan comes with a hockey stick, and Albert comes with a wrench. Though he doesn't have one for himself in the show, you do build this included hourglass with Albert, a piece which up to this point has been quite rare. Z-Blob is Mateo's creation and accompanies him on all of his journeys, sporting many forms. This one matches the Dreamlings as well, but still retains his eyes and his gelatinous appearance. A stretched out extension of his elastic body is included. This rope features gripping points, and is new for 2023. A modified tile with a pin is attached to the end so it can be tethered to other parts of the build. For the villains, we have Susan. This small thing has a head lit with purple flame and a face full of eyes, though seemingly having a sense of appearance as she's depicted wearing a dress. Not that her figure conveys that very well. Susan carries a spear with her, flying with translucent pink wings attached to this translucent clear neck attachment. It's too heavy for her to stand up on her own without help, thanks to it. The other grim spawn that follow her all feature the same head, the same one used for the Night Hunter, and the Dreamling body, but are all stylized after LEGO's classic themes. There's Denny, complete with LEGO classic space gear, a blaster, and the LEGO movie astronaut name and conventions to boot. There's Captain Bedbeard, named after the classic LEGO pirates Captain Redbeard, complete with a hat, saber, and flintlock pistol. There's Flight Knight, sword in hand, and named after the Fright Knights faction of the classic LEGO castle themes. And then there's Proper Chopper, who seems to have a gentleman's motif, but I like to think he's inspired by LEGO adventurers. Rather frightening that he's airborne and has a meat cleaver. All four sport a way to keep in the air to follow Susan in chase after Mr. Oz's Space Bus, which takes up the entire build. It's an amalgamation of a futuristic space shuttle and a school bus, matching Mr. Oz's apparent love for space and the fact that he's a school teacher. It's rather humorous, actually, as the bus part just kinda seems slapped into it, but not at all unwelcome. I really like how each of the main characters have a specific style and color choice for their vehicles, and the colors here are spectacular. The ship is covered in a dot matrix pattern and covered in the logo used for LEGO's classic space themes with the Dream Chaser logo at its center. Yes, all of these are stickers from this massive sticker sheet, but what's neat is that extras are included so you can decorate the space bus how you'd like. Any hero-specific set that includes Mateo in this first wave comes with extras like these. There are several great spots to grip the ship from. It feels very comfortable to carry, and it's also very sturdy. Let's get a closer look here, starting from the front with the cockpit. There's stud shooters on the side, and this cockpit opens up like this. There's seating for one minifig and two dreamlings inside. The next portion is the part shaped more like a school bus. There's designs for getting people aboard, and wings fitted with stud shooters. You can open the school bus segment from the top. There's seating for three minifigs and one dreamling. There's a jumper plate in front of the first seat back here that a dreamling or any other companion can sit as well. The windows are completely covered in favor of having this space for weapon storage. It's designed with characters with shoulder gear in mind, but that does come at the cost of not being able to see through the windows. Everything but Z-Blob's extension can fit in the clips on the walls here. If you decide not to just shove it into this spot while the team is aboard, having the walls open give the characters more room to do battle with the amount of space it allows, which is an awesome bonus. A monitor depicting the ship's vitals can be viewed at the back. 
The back end is shaped fantastic and has simple thrusters and lights. This spot back here opens up to get access to a rover LEGO never mentions is included. It's really tough to get out without having to tip the ship. It sits too, but only when it's outside the ship. You may have noticed several open spots across the ship for you to attach things to. Mr. Oz's space bus includes parts for you to assemble add-ons to power up the ship. The idea of these dream sets is that you can rebuild parts of the builds and dreamcraft them into different things. Following the color-coded instructions, featuring introductions of the characters falling asleep to begin their gorgeously depicted adventures, you're eventually prompted with the choice to add on to the space bus, complete with page numbers to skip to since you can only build one at a time. The first build adds this array and four massive engines to the ship. The array has space for a figure and features the only element in this set to have that opalescent blue that Dish is colored in. Both of the engines on the wings feature six shooter intakes, just twisting the thrusters at the back make them fire. At the back of the body are these even bigger engines spouting these massive blasts that use this new effect element, new to LEGO Dreams, with a solid blue colored marbled in it. Both of these engines feature a central space that you can open that's completely empty. There is tons of spare ammo that is included in this set that you can just easily store in there. I love that option so much! When building these add-ons, you'll end up with pieces that aren't normally included as spares when finished with a LEGO set, meant for the alternate build. Most of these can also go inside those empty sections, but there are some pieces that cannot and don't have good places to store them. This plate could go under one of the wings and you could just shove this axle in with the passengers if it's important for you to keep them together. A bit irked by this, considering LEGO Creator 3-in-1 sets are good about incorporating all necessary pieces in their main builds, despite there being alternate choices, but it doesn't ruin the experience for this set. It's impressive just how much you get out of disassembling those add-ons and assembling the alt build. Though almost the same core as the larger engines, this mega cannon sat here is the first build and the only part of this alt build that connects directly to the ship. It can rotate easily and still has room for that ammo. Unfortunately, after the entire alt build is completed, there are a lot of extra pieces to keep track of, many that would not fit inside this storage like it could in the main build. There's also very few spots in the build where you could hide them as well. The second build is this little craft with the array built into it. Lastly is this Starfighter for two, armed with those six shooters. This core isn't accessible, but both seats can detach into escape vehicles. Together, these make a sizable defense mode for the ship, but I honestly prefer the main build. What you have here is an exceptional set that suffers from a certain sense of lacking. The part count is rather light for a set at this price, but that doesn't mean you aren't getting a completed model functionally and at a size worth that value. It's not like LEGO doesn't go on sale after all. If you are interested in this set, you'll definitely get your value out of it. I think not seeing the interior in press images may have set expectations high for this set, but in the end it's just a bus built into a rocket ship, just like the name says, and that's okay too. Perhaps the part that bothers me the most is that this set only really includes two minifigs. It's $100. The other eight characters feel exactly the same, outside of headgear and accessories. Color variety, or lack thereof, certainly don't help, and I always consider these smaller LEGO creatures as just that, creatures, rather than full minifigs. They don't pull their own weight enough to make it feel as if I'm actually getting 10 characters. Even just including Izzy or Cooper would have helped offset that tremendously. Do you agree? You can let us know in the comments who you would have included in this set, and you can like the video and subscribe to Masters of Brick Jitsu while you're down there as well. I'm Penn, this is Masters of Brick Jitsu, and I'll see you next time.